Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. For you guys today, we are going to be doing just like a very, very simple get ready with me to go to work because I do have to go to work today. But before I go to work, I wanted to put on makeup to make me feel less like a um, cooked chicken and more like myself, especially since I'm driving today. And I always get like a little bit nervous when I have to drive like for driver's training and everything so we're we're gonna get ready to go to work okay okay if you guys are new please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up I would very much greatly appreciate it and yeah with that being said let's get started okay okay so how did I get sunburnt like I know nobody probably actually cares that much but I went kayaking with my cousins because my cousin is up from Las Vegas where she lives and we wanted to go kayaking so we went kayaking and I put on SPF okay like I put on so much SPF it's ridiculous like I had on 30 SPF from Tula I had on um 50 spf that was like a sport spf and an aerosol one and then i put on neutrogena's 70 spf and i still burnt okay like my face isn't that bad i don't know why but my face is like mm, like a little pink maybe but it's not like this or as bad as what my legs are. My legs are so summer. Like from the tops of where. Um, if you wear boy shorts. Wear my boy short underwear. Stop. On my legs. From there down. All the way down to like the tops of my toes. They are summer. I am so summer on my legs. It is ridiculous. So. Come on. Um, so there's that. That's it's not fun. Like it really, really hurts <laughs> my legs. I wore a dress yesterday to work because it hurts so bad. Um, and I don't wear dresses very often. Like I have to be in a mood to wear some or um a dress. But I was in so much pain. That I'm like, I'm either wearing sweatpants or I'm going to be wearing a dress. But yeah, so other than being cooked, it's been a pretty good time. I mean, there were a couple of weeks, like, as to why I wasn't filming. Like, I just, one, I didn't feel, like, super good. Like, I had a, my stomach hurt and everything. But then, two, I was also just having... A little bit of a hard time like mental health wise I was just not feeling good and so I just decided to not film anything um and then last week I was just really busy and now I, now I am filming so this video will probably go up tomorrow because today's Friday today's Friday the 22nd maybe Friday the 22nd so it'll probably go up at some point on the 23rd um but yeah but I really really like my new job at the pharmacy at Rite Aid um it's actually it's really enjoyable because I guess I realized about myself that I like having a routine. I like knowing exactly what I'm going to be doing when I walk in. I like knowing what I'm what I'm going to be doing like from the get go without having to ask anybody questions. Um, so that's something that I personally enjoy, and I know. Exactly, um, but I know exactly what I'm going to be doing from the moment I walk in to Rite Aid what i'm going to be doing and i really i like that i like it a lot 
Sorry, I'm just using the e.l.f. concealer now to like brighten certain areas of my face. So there's that but um yeah it's been it's been fun it's been enjoyable i really really like what i do i like my co-workers a lot which is surprising because normally like you know how there's usually at least one idiot that's working and you kind of have to suck it up and deal with them and pretend to make nice like there's that one person that just for no apps for absolutely no reason just grates on your every last nerve i don't have one of those at the moment which i'm going to count my blessings on um i'm about six percent of the way done with my ptu which is like pharmacy tech university um kind of excited about that Also, you guys, like, I'm gonna plug my TikTok here. If you guys, I just did, like, a little mini Ulta haul because I used up my points um, over there on TikTok. So, if you guys want to see that, like, I'll have my TikTok listed down below. I don't know how to link it, unfortunately, but I'll, like, list what it's called there. And it's, like, one of my more recent videos, I think. I'm gonna take my Maybelline super stay powder i hope this works i've never tried this one before it looks a little a little dark it actually looks a lot dark but i kind of just want it to like set under my eyes with maybe we'll take a brush and do that but yeah so how are you guys doing like let me know how are you guys doing what's new makeup that you guys are really enjoying i'm just kind of like i know i just said i did like a little mini haul over on my my tiktok but like i am trying to enjoy what i have versus always buying new stuff um but I don't know. I don't know at this point. Um, I'm also starting to finally, like, start saving up money to put aside for either a car or an apartment because probably a car first so I can drive myself back and forth to work. Um, but then, like, also an apartment. So... That's been fun. Like, that's one of the first things I do every single time I get paid is I put a certain amount of money into a separate account for, like, a car or an apartment. It's literally, like, called my par apartment or car account. Whichever one comes first, probably a car. But it's, it's still not going to happen until next year. Um... There's that. Let me do let me do my brows really quick. Alright, so then I did my eyebrows. I just used my MAC pencil. Um what I'm going to do for my eyes is I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Feeling Coconutty quad. But then also I'm gonna be using the shade of my Vive bronzer as like a transition shade otherwise the only matte color i have is this really really dark brown one and i want one that's a little bit lighter and this bronzer is really pretty it's like an eyeshadow so i'm just gonna use this as my transition shade because i kind of just want light well my version of light makeup but yeah um I've kind of made up my mind that I'm gonna get a car first and then I'm going to I'm gonna get an apartment 
as soon as I figure out how to budget myself out next. So, I also still have to buy a dress for my friend's wedding. I am a bridesmaid in her wedding. So, I actually have to do that pretty soon because her wedding is in September. And it takes three weeks for the dresses to ship. So, we'll be doing that as well. And then I'm just going to take this dark shade right here on, what is this? Some sort of Morphe brush. Um, but yeah. But I finally got the jean jacket that I need for her wedding and the shoes that I need for her wedding. Because let me, oh my god, this is so dark. Why is that spotty? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is not going to work, friends. Okay, you know what? Let me do. I'm going to take some of the face powder I used and just. I think that looks a little bit better. Like that. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of made up my mind. Like, I'm going to start doing certain things. And I need, like I said, I still have to buy a dress for my friend's wedding. But I need to get measured first so that's gonna be fun I have to have time to do that and I was gonna do it this set tomorrow but I ended up taking a shift at Rite Aid so I might ask her if we can do it on Tuesday before I have to go to work at Ulta So we'll see but yeah I really I need to do that so just blend it out like so and then I'm gonna grab again the brush that we put the face powder on and the lightest shade of the bronzer Oof. And just kind of blend. The edges out a little bit. Like so. Just so it looks a little bit more seamless. I don't want it to be perfect. Well, not it doesn't have to be perfect. But I want it to look at least well blended. So there's that. Okay. So those are the eyes basically other than mascara. I've kind of been skipping doing the eyeliner. A little bit as of late because 
I find it looks less disgusting when I do. So that's been helpful. She's already been fed. Huh? I said the cat's already been fed. Huh? The boys haven't because they're not <laughs> in here. Look how pretty my hair is. Did you sleep with a braid in? Mm -mm. <laughs> and I really don't want to brush it because he's going to hurt so bad. <laughs> okay, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this... What is this? This is a Morphe R2 brush. And I'm just gonna go into the, sh like, kind of mix these two shades together and then tap off. But yeah, so that's what's going on with me. I got sunburn. I'm working on my driver's license. I'm going, basically, it, if you wonder, like, what PTU is it's pharmacy tech university and essentially I have to get an associate's degree in six months is is basically what it is so it's been fun trying to do that I'm gonna have to start studying here pretty quick because I think my first exam is pretty soon. And, but Saturday, I know that's all I'm gonna be doing is studying, or not studying, is doing PTU. So hopefully after Saturday, I'll be ready to take my exam. There's that. This bronzer, like, if you guys ever wonder, I'm pasty pale, right? And I got the shade medium because the light one looked a little bit too light and this one's a little bit, like, too dark. But if you use a really big powder brush and kind of just, like, stamp it on and then, like, blend it out, it works really well. Like, I look very bronzed without looking too dark if that makes sense like it looks like i'm wearing makeup but i am so i don't care about that so there's that and then we have blush i'm gonna be using my nars palette and i'm just gonna kind of mix these two shades i think together so These two shades are Behave and then, no, this one's Orgasm and then this one's Behave. No. Orgasm, Behave. I'm just going to mix these two shades together. Like that. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little. that so yeah i'm kind of it's like moving things are moving and grooving and cruising i'm like very excited <sighs> once i have my pharmacy technician license i'm gonna be really happy with myself and proud of myself and i'm gonna go to olive garden and i'm gonna have some blue hawaiians and get like slightly toasted um i also still need to plan a hot date with gibbs because and before anybody like gets all excited about me having a boyfriend um gibbs is a character off of ncis so he's not real unfortunately well i mean like the actor is real but gibbs is not real and <sighs> very disappointing and everything um 
but yeah. So there's that. And then what am I gonna do next? Probably highlighter. I'm gonna be using my Mac Holiday palette. These are actually like less blinding than I thought they would be. They're more of like a natural highlight and I kind of just like to take like go in to all three of them and do it like it is definitely more of a subtle highlight my friends than what I normally do but that's okay because we're going to work at a pharmacy and you should be a little bit conservative at a pharmacy I think I don't know put some on my nose and on my, on my forehead just because I have to be subtle doesn't mean I'm not going to glow Like that. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna do mascara and my lips off camera and then I'll come back. Alright, so if anybody's wondering like what I used for mascara and my lip combo, um the mascara I got is gratis from Ulta, so it's the Lancome Hypnos 8 or whatever, the new one. Um I I like it is it is very much so like a natural lash type of mascara. It doesn't do a ton for me. Um but I really like the wand a lot. It is like a natural haired bristle, but it's not one of the ones that like gets all clumpy and nasty. So I like that. And then my lips are the essence um Stay 8 hour matte liquid lipstick in O2 Duck Face. And then I have the Extreme Shine and Volume 105 Flower Blossom Gloss. I did not realize that Essence had such good lip products, but I'm on like an Essence kick right now. So I really, really like these two together. And the Plumper is more of like a minty one. It doesn't burn. It's like a cooling sensation. Um. So yeah, with that being said, if you guys like this video... Please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I'd very much greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.